The Cheap CB Radio Kit Challenge, putting together a starter kit cheaper than the radio sellers, by Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 metres and PMR 446. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 metres and PMR 446. Now I've decided to set myself a challenge. After finding out that there's um, a lot more of the cheap PNI CB radios um, uh, being sold in the UK, I thought, hmm, because you can get CB radio packs for like about £80, I thought, if we tr I might be able to do it a bit better than that. For a decent radio that's uh, beginner friendly, this is for beginners, uh, beginner friendly radio with very simple controls on it and cheap as possible and a decent antenna. Not one of these um, uh, compromise antennas like the PNI Extra 48 that I've got or even a, one of the short dial match ones. Something that would be sufficient to get decent range and not disappoint. So, basically the criteria for the radio should be that it has separate volume on off and squelch control and a channel change. Display doesn't necessarily need to be anything fancy so basically control layout a similar manner to this Midland so basically channel on off squelch and an optional up down button on the microphone and possibly an auto squelch as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the computer and I'm going to see what happens when I, and how I how I get on and see if I can get anyone beginning in CB so you might have come across this video uh, looking to get started the cheapest setup I can possibly get them for less for less than 80 pounds now that's the other one less than 80 pounds but that does not include postage and packing by the way so let's see how I crack on with that this could be interesting. Okay guys, so I'm on the Thunderpole website. Thunderpole's one of the main suppliers I choose. This is their CB radio starter pack with their T800 radio, which is which meets the criteria. It's got um, uh, a squelch control. It's got an RF gain control on it, but that doesn't work in FM mode, so we'll ignore that entirely. Um, volume control and up and down channel change and band selection between UK channels, EU channels and a channel 9 and 19 button. Well, it's a switch. Basically, very simple. It's got some buttons on the microphones. It's the exact same microphone on that that is supplied with the T3000 that, that I have. Coffee as well. You get with it the radio, an antenna of your choice and a mount. Because this is for someone who's starting out, I decided that an orbiter style antenna uh, or Springer style, whichever you want to call it, Thunderpole call it the orbiter, and a magnetic mount would be fine. Thunderpole will charge you for this kit £95. You don't get the pretty blonde girl though. <laughs> so, so if we wanted something similar from, well, I haven't had a look see if knights do any kits yet. Let's see, I've got a few tabs open. Uh, okay. Let's go in here. So if you want a kit from Moonraker, exactly the same sort of thing. So they do have any of the black the full size black antennas? No they don't. They do have full size of the antennas in other colours, with a mag mount and a radio. So the cheapest they can do it for you with that type of antenna, the same size mag mount and a pretty much identical radio, except this time it's the Moonraker Minor 2 Plus. They can do that so you can be on the air with, with their kit for £86.95. That's for, that one though is a red antenna because I couldn't find the black one. 
the black ones probably around about the same sort of price you can get these antennas in whatever color you want to color color coordinate with your car if you so desire okay so the radio again is this case is the moonraker minor 2 plus but it is exactly identical to the thunder pole t800 it's the same radio in, for all intents and purposes there's it's got the same RF gain control that doesn't work for FM transmissions. So, well, basically useless RF gain control. Uh, it's got the same up and down volume squelch. It's only, the only thing it differs with is the microphone, which is very similar to the one on that PNI Escort HP7120 that I have. Although that radio is a little bit too clumsy, we shall say, for someone who's just starting out because to get to the this squelch you have to press a button then turn the then turn a the control or press a button and press up and down depending on how it's configured i think it's press the button and press up and down so it's a bit too clunky so let's see if i can do better than that so what i shall do calculator let's wait for the calculator to wake up so let's see if I can do better than that. So let's see what I can do there. So we'll ignore Thunder Pole entirely here because when I did when I did a bit of digging earlier, it turns out that if to buy that P, the PNI radio off the Moonraker website, and then everything else off Thunder Pole, it would probably still come to quite a fair bit. So we'll go on here. Okay, I've just lost that window now. I'll just use my mouse instead. That's why I've got a mouse. So, cheapest radio that I can find that's, that meets the criteria, that's very simple, is the otherwise identical, although it's, as far as I'm aware, it's different inside, PNI Escort HP 8000L. And it is sold for £44.99. So we'll put that into the calculator. The cost of the radio, a very simple radio that doesn't require you to press buttons to get to things that you, you can just otherwise turn turn a control to get to. So £44.99. Let's see. Now, magnetic mount that will accommodate that antenna is $16.99 from Moonraker. That's the cheapest I've found it so far, I believe. I can check with Knights because I did look at those up on Knights and see if it's any cheaper with them. See if Knights' website actually wakes up. Their website's a wee bit slow. So just to bear that in mind. They will sell a turbo magnetic mount. It needs to be one with a 3 8 inch thread. For £14.95. Or they'll sell a different type also for the same price £14.95 how much did we say that mag the mag mount was for the Moonraker £16.99 so for the magnetic mount we'll go with the price that Knights are given us which is £14.95 so go back to my calculator £14.95 so fifty nine ninety four for the radio and a magnetic mount. You can get you can get the whole radio for that. So I'll have another drink of my coffee. That's in my Top Gear mug. So let's see. So we've got the magnetic mount. We've got a radio. So now we need an antenna. So I'm going to look on Knight's website and see if the antenna the antennas are any cheaper there 
So we need to find on here antennas. There we go. Antennas CB mobile. You probably can't see that's my pictures right over the over the top of it. So if I press that, let's see what happens. Because Knights sell a few Thunderpole products as well, so which is good of them. They're, they're a Thunderpole reseller, which is why this. But they sell a few Moonraker things as well, which is actually interesting. Oh, I think I'll use the mouse here because that's just going to keep happening. Right. So, on the Knights website, we want to look for. Let's see other. First, I'll have a look under the Thunder Pole section shortly. Let's see what they've got. So, there's no pictures of any of these ones. So, let's uh, check the Thunder Pole offerings. So that's what we're actually looking looking at because they are British made antennas all of them it's only the radios that are made in China I do know that um, uh, that doesn't make some people very happy but the but the radios are made in in China the antennas are made in the UK as well as Sigma antennas as well. So we are looking for Thunderpole Orbiter Standard. Knights are selling that in black, pink and orange. Do you see any other colours? Yep, they also do it in chrome, red, yellow, green, blue, and white, as well as the pink and orange, and the obvious black. The one I've got's actually been sprayed white, but it's not a Thunderpole antenna, as far as I can tell. So they're selling it for fourteen ninety five at nights. Thunderpole themselves. I must go find the antenna. So I'll have to go back to Thunderpole's website. They sell that same antenna. I can come off the magnetic mounts now. So it'll be under their large CB antennas and they quote a range of 10 plus miles on them. Which is ideal. So their Orbiter SS is a bit more expensive. It's just a standard Orbiter. They're selling it for $17.99. So Knights are selling that for... Fourteen Let's see how much uh, Moonraker are selling a similar antenna for. Let's see how we fare there. There's one other supplier as well I know that sells the antennas. So this is antennas, uh, mobile antennas. It says there's 120 mobile antennas to choose from. So the full-size Tornado Stinger. 13.99. Knights have given us for the Thunderpole Orbiter version, 14.95. Thunderpole themselves, when I find it, have given us. Seventeen ninety-nine. Now I did see another supplier of these antennas. So, so would it, where are we? So so far thirteen ninety-nine. Although they've got a forty-eight hour lead time at at Moonraker at the moment, but again they sell them in all different colours, and they also sell a mini version for the for a similar price. So let's see. This is the. £17.60 from Rocket Radio, so cheapest. I found the antenna, and this is a very good quality antenna, 
and it's nigh indestructible. You can snag it on tree branches and everything, and it will not break. It's at Moonraker at £13.99, and again in different colours. See, you've got it black, green, blue, let's see what else, red. You've got a lead time on some, some of these. You even do a chrome version. And uh, let's see. That's it, actually. I'm going to do an orange one as well. And the, so that's not so bad. So they do them in different colours. There is the, That's the mini version of, of the antenna in white. It's not the full size. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can find a... Yeah, they do some slightly more expense, expensive ones as well. The white ones are sixteen ninety-nine. But the full size you can get full size ones in green or black for thirteen ninety-nine. So we'll say thirteen ninety-nine on that one. So let's bring my calculator again. So I add Seventy-three ninety-three, under eighty pound, not including delivery. We're not including delivery in this because the delivery charges will only be will only add probably an, about another fiver to the bill. So it'd still be under the eighty. So you can get started in CB radio for less than seventy-four pounds, not including delivery. So. I'll put the links to the products that I've put together into the into the description below and we can go from there. So that I would like to try and better that 7393. So if you think you can better that without using eBay then yeah there is one other supplier as well, which I got the um, uh, PJ box, which I got the um, uh, PNI radio that I've got from. Now, obviously, that kit's a bit useless because, right, CB antennas. So, see if I can better that. This is again not using eBay. And yeah, I think I will still use the mouse because if I use the trackpad, it's going to do that. Right, let's go for. Is that a full size or a half size? Now they've got that at 1049, but they don't specify which one it is. That one's the that one's a 90 centimeter version, so that's the mini one. Let's uh, go back to the antennas. See if we can better this price. Right. So that's gone as the antenna accessories. I wanted the antennas themselves. So why should we go in there? Yeah, see the antennas mobile. So they've got the mini version of that antenna. Let's uh, go price low to high. See if I see what that does for me. Because that's the easy way to sort it. Sometimes I find so. Yeah. So the so the mini one. 1220 that some of these are quite small antennas so they're no good some of the a lot of these are sold out that's the PNI extra 48 that one it owns 20 pound I don't think it's really worth that to be honest but I'll have a proper look at it at a later date let's see if they do the actual proper size no they don't actually do the full size orbiter style or springer style 
to only do that small one. So it doesn't look as though we can better that because the full size one's about 1.5. The small one. Yeah, they don't look as though to do the, the bigger one. And that's not ideal. Yeah, because they don't do the bigger version. That's not, uh, came in at about shy of a metre. This one, which they've sold out of anyway, but I can still have a look at it. Is that's that's coming up at 1.55, but they only have it in black. But they're saying that some. Uh, they're saying that's the full size one, but that's being listed as the mini one. So let's see. Might be a shorter antenna, but that's a, but they're saying it's the one point five five. So I did. It won't be much difference in the bill, in the final bill. So. Did we say this one was twelve twenty? There, yeah, come to seventy two fourteen with that price, but that's still not including delivery. But because it doesn't, because it says it's the mini one, but lists the specifications for the full one, I think you're going to get the mini one if you order that. So we'll go back to the thirteen ninety nine one. Yeah, there's really not much difference in the bill at all. So I can get so I can put together that kit with that radio, that that antenna, not that one that you've just seen, but one very similar to it, and the mag mount for seventy-three pounds ninety-three pence. Let's see, what's the price difference then? So if I go back into the, the CB radio starter pack at Thunderpole. Configured in exactly the same way. At 94.99, let's see what the difference is for that. Let's see how much I actually save you over that one. So, 94, try again, 99, we take away 73.93, You get you save yourself twenty one pounds and six pence. If you get this is not including postage and packing. If you order the items that I'm going to be listing to below over the Thunderpole kit. So let's come off that and let's go for the Moonraker kit, which I'll need to find again. I think I closed it off. And I'll open that in a new tab just to make things a little easier. And let's see what we get. I didn't find it again, right? So, need to filter by magnetic mount. And we shall find what we're looking for here. So, we'll ignore this one here because that uses. An antenna that's going to get you absolutely nowhere and you're going to be very disappointed. So we start with the 8695 kit. 
which has the antennas of your choice So 87.95, I think that's the black one. Yes, it is. That's the black antenna, which is 87.95, which is a pound more than the other ones. So let's see how much I'm actually saving you in. We'll use that one as the reference. So 73.93. Probably not going to be much, though. Uh, actually, no, no, we start. We don't start with that one, do we? Yeah. Uh, Eighty-seven ninety-five first. And then we take off the seventy-three ninety-three. Otherwise, we'll end up with a negative. That's going to look rather silly. You save fourteen pound and two pence. If you buy all of the items that I've specified. So the PNI CB radio from Moonraker, I believe the, I think the mount may have came from Knights, and the antenna, well, double check that one, I believe it was a Moonraker one, but I will double check. So that's what you get, 14, that's the saving you get, 14 pound and two pence. So, 7393 is the best I've been able to do so far with a radio that's not going to complicate matters. The only thing you've got to remember with the radio is to make sure you put it into the UK mode. Now, I'll dig out the instructions for, for that radio because I know I can find them online if I look for them and I will tell you how to do that. So, let's go back into the other room. Right, back in the shack now, after spending a bit of time at the um, uh, dining table, um, going through how to get the cheapest uh, little starter kit for, for CB together. So less than 74, 75 pounds is actually not too bad, considering that most of these kits are like um, uh, nearly 90 or nearly 100 pound. So with that PNI radio that I, that I chose for the kit, um, that may obviously need setting into the UK mode. They generally come set in the European mode. Now, whilst you can still legally use that in the in this country, it's because we have um, uh, two blocks of frequencies, one of which is actually unique to the UK, despite some um, uh, European pirates thinking otherwise. Um, then you'd have to proceed as follows. The first thing you've got to do is connect the radio to the power source, which is the cigarette lighter socket in your car. Um, then the next thing you've got to do is uh, obviously have the microphone plugged in, but if you plug it in, then connect it to the power. Uh, then you've got to push the PTT button and down together when you're switching on the radio, and then select the U mode through the list of modes by pressing up and down on the radio itself. That will be in the instruction book for the radio, so, so make sure you select the U mode, which is for UK. The AM-FM switch then becomes FM is UK frequencies, UK channels, and AM would then become FM European channels. So if you want to use AM, you have to change the mode. It's a bit clumsy for that, but in a car, you wouldn't really need to be too worried about that. FM is adequate for, for it, and uh, 2781 is adequate as well. So that's the cheapest, with brand new equipment, I've managed to be able to do it. If you can better that, then have a go. It's just a little challenge I set myself and that's the best I've been able to do with it. So, right, uh, might encourage a few more of you to get on the air now. Uh, by the way, it doesn't include postage and packing, so it's just the cost of the equipment. Postage and packing may add some more to the bill. So, right, and that covers that, I suppose. Uh, this is Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730. If you catch me on 11 metres in PMR 446 or on the CB, you can always call me the Red Squirrel if you want to go the old-fashioned route and use handles. Um, yeah, so stay safe. Uh, obviously, the virus is still prominent at the moment, so keep yourself safe. And watch out for that virus. You don't want to be getting it. Um, and that should hopefully... 
covered everything. Uh, now, I couldn't obviously set myself this challenge for the amateur band because, you know, you can get onto amateur radio for, once you pass the exam, obviously, for about 20, 30 quid with a Baofeng UV5R. You can get onto two metres with that. So, that's not really a challenge, is it? So I wanted to challenge myself with CB radio equipment because most people would think it was very expensive, but it isn't really. Um, um, uh, let's see, um, yeah, so, keep yourself safe, um, have a look at the items I've, I've linked to in the description below, and hopefully that will get you on the air in the car. Just one more thing, just before I go, that I best point out, if you are starting out in CB, you may have to purchase one of these, this is a SWR meter. I've covered that in a different video. However, for no cost, if you know someone who has an SWR meter and the appropriate lead to go between the radio and the meter, then by all means ask them if you can borrow it or ask them to help you set it up. And if you if you live locally to me, I can help you as well. Because there's as so I've um, been doing this a long time and I know what I'm doing. So, there we go. Well, it's seven threes, guys, um, and I hope to catch you on the air very soon. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of new videos as I upload them. Seven threes from Paul, Mike, Zero, Whiskey, November, Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango, 730 on 11 meters and PMR 446.